Okay, so what I've got here is a photo of myself, uh, no actually, myself, Kim, myself, Dom, and my girlfriend, Kim. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make really horrible photos where you can actually have part of your face or part of your girlfriend's face on your different heads. So to make it really disgusting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my face onto Kim. So what I'll do is I'll bring down Kim's opacity down to 50% and keep mine up at 100. And what we need to do is try and move around uh, the layer so it's in the correct position. So I want to click down, 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 down until my eyes and nose are roughly in the same position as Kim's. We can, we can ignore stuff like where our chin is going because that's not really going to matter. Okay, and there, it already looks like quite a disturbing picture. Um, it's, a bit, it's just a bit weird, isn't it? Uh, and uh, so we can make it so it's just totally Kim, and there, there's me, Kim, me. Now, what we're going to do is on Kim, we're going to add a layer mask. Add layer mask, make it full opacity, so that means we keep Kim in there. And we'll get the painting tool. Go to the painting brush, make sure it's a nice soft brush here, and let's bring it up to size 10, and that should bring it in. What we're going to do is we're going to paint in my features. So there's my eye, there's my other eye, there's my nose, there's my lips. Now what you'll see is my f bits which I'm painting in are kind of pink and reddish, because that's because, well clearly my skin tone is a little bit pinker or more tanned than Kim's. So that's easily fixed. Well it's not as easily fixed as it should be, as in if you're doing it in Lightroom you can easily just click on the white balance tool. So what you need to do is to click on my picture, because that's one which we can see just now, and then click on colours and then colour balance. And what you get is you get a choice where you can do it with shadows, mid-tones or highlights, which just really makes it a bit difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on the face a bit more. There, and you can see it looks like I've just got a bit of a sunburn in the face. So uh, let's carry on with the colour balance. And as I'm a bit more pink, what I want to do is take a bit of the red down, so more cyan, add a bit more green to it, and maybe add a little bit more blue to it or maybe a little bit less blue. What you really need to do is just play around with these and practice until you've got the right figure. This is where if you're an artist you could probably understand the colours a lot better. Okay, and I'd probably say that there is probably about as close as I'm going to get to the colour of Kim's face. So, let's press OK and then let's just paint back in the rest of my face just so it's fully done. Make sure you're on the layer mask and you can paint it in. So there is my face on my graphic. If I go too low what happens is I start bringing in my chin which isn't. See if I go all the way here what will happen is you'll start taking away part of Kim and it really does it like me. But all we need to do is Control Z and that gets rid of that bit and we can just paint back in the bits that we want. So just bring it close to the edges, not all the way. And the good thing if you use the f um, fuzzy brush like what I'm using just now, then the join between your face and your girlfriend's face is very uh, difficult to spot. And there you go. That is how to do a really horrible face. If you want to make it even more disgusting, what you can also do is go to Filter, go to Distort. Now what we'll do is we'll make a little selection around the eyes. Just do that. And then go to Filter, Distort, and go to Warp. Ah, yeah. So let's flatten that, uh, or let's at least um, apply.
apply layer mask. Now we'll go to filters, distort, then warp. And what we can do is we can click grow. I'm going to make me so I have really big eyes. So it looks like Lady Gaga. And what we want to do is start in the center of the eye. Got the right. A slight little rotate in a little circle shape. Do that in each eye, right in the middle, and then round in a circle. Click OK. And then there is me with some really kind of messed up eyes just now. The next thing we could do is we could select part of the mouth, go to tools, oh, sorry, uh, go to filters, distort, and we could do, uh, let's do warp again. And this time we're going to, let's give me a small mouth. And we just go along and along and along until I've got nearly no lips. Now, another thing we do, let's work on my nose. Let's give it so I've got less of an upturned nose. Let's go to distort, warp on the nose, and we'll click move. What we'll do is we'll increase the blur radius up a bit, and we'll bring the bottom part of my nose up like that. Maybe we should also do something with my eyebrows, I think. Let's give me some evil eyebrows. So go to two, uh, filters, distort, warp again, this time, let's do move and just start an eyebrow and push it up. Start an eyebrow, push it up like that. Cool. Go to select, select none, and then <laughs> let's leave it as that. I think that's pretty good. Go to file, save as, and call that messed up.